I've worn three outfits today, <laughs> and I couldn't remember which was which. But yeah, this is Rodate. I mean, it's fabulous. It's so beautiful. Fabulous. Um, I have to ask you because we were just talking the wonderful Chris Pine, who's going behind you right now. Um, he was just like. I loved making this movie because you're so amazing and because it's like a sexy, hot, great movie. It really is. It's, I think it's a, like harking back to a time of old when romance was something that we all wanted to think about and get excited about. And it's like an old movie like Casablanca or you know, that film noir, but it's got that modern edge, obviously, because the trailer I was like this is the movie I wish we made more of which is I'm like, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I agree I, I I love it I mean god the fact that the love story is as important as all of the you know CIA drama and the fact that there's a woman in the middle of it all a woman in the middle of the CIA drama you know literally commanding the narrative it's not something that I've certainly done that much of and doing it with Chris he's the loveliest guy oh my god but in terms of being a human rights activist I was I was glad to see that the film was dealing so effectively and sensitively with issues that we deal with in the world in terms of terrorism and um, and what I particularly admired about uh, Yanus, uh, our director's work, was how he allowed us to speak to real representatives from the CIA. So we had a consultant from the CIA who advised us throughout the movie. I spent a number of hours talking to her. She was African-American um, and had worked uh, in the CIA for a number of, of years, really a whole career. And I wanted to represent her and other women like her who have taken up positions in the CIA against all odds. Um, and I feel when I've, I've seen the movie and I think that we achieved a lot, we really, really did and we meant it and we cared. But at the end of the day, it's a movie, it's entertainment, it's, <laughs> it's a romantic thriller. And I'm also extremely proud of how we managed to you know, make make that love story so authentic. Really, you really feel the, the heart of, of the story. Last question. I did hear that you said that you were a little nervous to work with him because he's so handsome. <laughs> well, no, yeah, I was a bit. I just, you know, oh, God. We had a really intense scene right in the middle of the movie. It was incredibly important and required nudity and so on. And I just caught a glimpse of Chris at one point you know like we're getting costumes and hair and makeup and I'm like oh no 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 no, <laughs> no. <laughs> and so yeah I had a little I, I summoned the uh, the DP actually and said is this going to be okay of course it is of course but girls we get insecure right <laughs> and I you know my baby he's seven now but still still people okay um, and yeah he's, he's such a sweetie and it was all handled so beautifully too. Uh, intimate scene was so amazingly handled because we had an intimacy coordinator, so everyone knew what was doing, what was happening, what what was going where, and that's important. Well, yeah, it is, isn't it? What's going where is important, and consent. Listen, it was actually all about consent. That's why we have the intimacy coordinator, so everyone consents every detail of what's happening. Everyone's in agreement. Everyone witnesses everybody, and then we go to work.